On mild winter nights in forests across eastern North America, thousands of Jefferson salamanders emerge from burrows with a common purpose, reproduction. They converge on scattered fishless ponds to usher in the next generation. Warmer conditions trigger these movements, but winters here are fickle, and frigid weather often returns, freezing the ponds and trapping the salamanders under ice. Though these salamanders don't have gills and normally breathe air, they may have to survive days or even weeks trapped under the ice. It may seem like certain death for these Jefferson salamanders, but they have a backup breathing system. Their thin, permeable skin can be a liability out of the water, where hot or dry conditions cause them to dry out from evaporative water loss. But underwater, they can actually pull dissolved oxygen directly through their skin into their body. And since cold water holds more oxygen than warm water, these frozen ponds can keep dozens, even hundreds of salamanders alive for weeks. Under the ice, in the cold water, the Jefferson salamanders seek out mates. Males are the first to arrive, and often get worked into a frenzy in their search for females. After mating, females lay eggs in jelly-like clusters along sticks in the water. Spring draws near and the ponds thaw one final time, the salamanders leave the water and disappear back into their forest homes, where their lives remain mostly a mystery to us. But this is just the beginning for these incredible underwater amphibian nurseries known as vernal pools. Because as Jefferson salamanders are leaving the pond, there are even larger and more colorful amphibians just arriving. Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you don't miss our next video on the explosion of amphibian life that is about to happen at these ponds.